Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with a uh, quick video. Um, in this one, uh, I, I already did a video about this, about can USB cables affect audio quality in DACs. Uh, this is kind of going to be the follow-up video. Uh, I'm going to test a uh, cable here that was not expensive. It was under $10 on Amazon. It's a Belkin Gold Series uh, cable. Um, it, you know, it's what a lot of people recommend for hooking up DACs to PC. So I'm going to find out if this indeed does make any difference audibly uh, for what's delivered. It's a six foot cable that I got. There's the front of the package. Not too exciting. On the back, it actually talks about how it exceeds USB specs. Um, the power cable in there exceeds specs. It's got uh, an, an inner shield and a, f a copper in foil inner shield and also has a braid and foil shield. So it actually has two shields in it. This is a shielded cable. It's got the gold plated contacts. So this is definitely a high quality uh, USB cable. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to get this thing open. I'm going to do some testing and uh, I'll be back and talk about what I thought. Okay guys, before I dive into me talking about the sound and uh, of the cable and all that, and if I could hear any differences or not, I thought after I got it out of the package I would just talk about the physical properties of the cable just a little bit. As you can see, uh, she's got the, uh, you know, the gold plated ends there. It's a fairly thick USB cable and it's six feet long. <laughs> yeah, fairly flexible, feels pretty good. Yeah, I know, real exciting stuff, right? Now I'm going to show you the other cables that I'm going to use in this roundup to see if I can, you know, quote, tell a difference. This is just a bog standard uh, USB cable that came with, I don't know, a printer or something. And as you can see, uh, it's kind of hard to tell it on camera, but this, this cable is definitely thinner. Uh, it's a thinner cable than this. I don't know if this one is shielded or not. I know for a fact the Belkin is shielded. so. Um, yeah, there's that. So, again, thinner cable, bog standard. This is the one, you know, the Belkin Gold. So, and the other one I'm going to test out, of course, is the one that did come with the Audio Engine D1, which is only three feet. Uh, the thickness on it actually seems to be about the same uh, between the uh, one that come with the Audio Engine D1 and the Belkin. They seem to be fairly similar, but the... Um, the Belkin's a little more bendy, a little easier to bend. Uh, the one that came with the Audio D1, it still bends pretty easily, but it's a little stiffer. Not that, you know, it's not a huge difference. So anyway, and the one that came with the Audio Engine D1 is only three feet as opposed to six. If this was six feet, I would probably just use this. But since it's only three, that's not really, unfortunately, too viable uh, for me to use it. But anyway, um... Here's the Belkin one again, you know. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna pit these three cables together, see if I hear any differences, and I'll get back to you. So, uh, but before I do that, I'll just show you the unit that I'm testing with. Just move this stuff around here. I am. Um, that's the Audio Engine D1 that I'm going to be listening on, and the headphones I'm gonna use are. The Audio Technica ATH M50Xs. So that's what I'm going to be listening with. Um, next part of this video, I'll be back and I'll talk, tell you guys if I heard any differences or not. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, now it's time for me to talk about my conclusions uh, regarding the cable. And unfortunately, my conclusions are completely inconclusive. And by that, I mean um, when I experimented with the three different cables. Um, I had a real hard time telling if there were any differences or not. If there were any differences, they were incredibly subtle. So maybe I heard a difference, maybe I didn't. Now, I know um, there's probably some equipment out there that is dependent on the USB cable running into it. Apparently mine isn't it because I couldn't reliably tell the difference between the three cables. I just, I just couldn't. So... Um, you know, that's, I know other people have had different results with this, but personally me, 
I just couldn't tell the difference between any of the three cables. Now, it was extremely easy to tell the difference between the CD player or the PC audio both going into the same DAC, okay? Um, the, CD always, the CD always sounded more clear, natural, smoother, less harsh, clearer, all that stuff. The CD was, it was real easy to tell which was the CD and which wasn't. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, and the CD sounded better than all three of the cables. Um, none of them sounded as good as the, you know, optical uh, from the CD into the same DAC as the USB. But, um, so basically, what this leads me to, my general advice about digital cables related to hi-fi systems. I make the following recommendations. Um, buy digital cables that meet or exceed specs okay that are uh, rated well and are inexpensive okay um, if applicable uh, you know make sure they're shielded um, make sure they're high quality connectors construction etc and um, that's basically it uh, because if you get digital cables that meet those criteria more than likely they're not going to be a bottleneck in your system as far as fidelity goes usually your equipment is going to have more of an impact on your fidelity than a cable now if you get a crappy cable that's a freebie that doesn't even meet a spec it's probably going to give you problems but you know as long as because really for cables you know is as, as long as they carry a signal well that's all they have to do they're not you know equipment so um but they are important they're an important part of the chain but they're 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 not you know i don't know that's that's really all i have to say about the cables overall so um i'm sorry i couldn't be more conclusive like hey you know wow the belkin was so much better it wasn't now as for me, I don't regret one bit spending the small amount of money that I did on the Belkin because it did definitely this experiment definitely satisfied my curiosity on the subject, and that's always valuable. Um, so, what I would recommend for anyone, no matter who you are, if you're into this stuff and you're watching this video and you're curious about this, do yourself a favor, buy some you know cables that meet the criteria that I mentioned. And experiment for yourself. See if you can hear a difference. Because really, you need to trust your own ears. Don't trust what I, what me or, or or whoever says on the internet. You need to listen for yourself. And that's how you'll really be able to tell. Anyway, um, as always, if you did enjoy what you see, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.